Hi everybody, today we're going to work on lesson 9-6 in your math book. It starts on page 527. And today is kind of fun. We get to have some riddles or some puzzles to solve using the clues that they give us. So if you look on page 527, here are the clues in our riddle. It says, I am thinking of a secret number. The number is greater than 20 and less than 30. The number is inside a shape with four sides. What is the secret number? And then afterwards, it wants you to say, what strategy did you use? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is look at the first clue. The number is greater than 20. So now if I have a number that's less than 20, I know that that cannot be my number. So I'm going to cross off anything that is less than 20. So here I have 25, 22, 31, 56. Oh, here's 6. It does not have two tens. 38. Here's 14. It only has one ten, so I can cross that off. 27. 19 only has one ten. I can cross that off. 41. So I could cross off three of those just with the first clue. Then it says it's less than 30. So if it's going to be less than 30, I can cross off anything that's more than 30. 25 is less. 31 is more. 22 is less. 56 is more because it has five tens. 38 is more. 27 is less because there's only two tens. 41 is more. So I can cross that off. So we're left with just a few shapes left. And our last clue is the number is inside a shape with four sides. Well, the circle does not have four sides. It doesn't have any straight sides. The triangle has one, two, three, so that can't work. And here we have what's called a rhombus or a diamond, and it has one, two, three, four. So that is our secret number. The secret number is 27. So when you have riddles, you need to look at one clue at a time and try to cross off choices that cannot be your correct answer. So if we go to page 528, at the top it says, Carl has a secret number. It is greater than 40 and less than 50. His number is red. What is Carl's secret number? How can you make sense of this problem? I can look at what I know in the problem and what I am asked to find. My strategy is to make a list of numbers and use the clues that I know. So here we go back and we look and it says number greater than 40. So I'm going to cross off anything that is less than 40. Two tens is less. Five tens is more. Two tens is less. Four tens and some si and some ones are going to be more than 40. Two tens is less. There's four tens and some ones. Four tens and some ones. Uh, five tens is more. Five tens is more. So we crossed off a few, and now we go to the next clue. It says it's less than 50. Well, 50 is not less than 50, is it? So we have to cross that one off. 46 is less than 50, 45 is less than 50, 41 is less than 50, 58 is more, and 57 is more. Then we go to our last clue. His number is red. Well, 46 is red, 45 is green, 41 is blue or purple, so 46 is our correct answer. Okay, so first we found the numbers that would work with our first two clues. Then we went to the color code. All right, so we're going to use the same numbers that are up here to find our answers to number one and two. Number one said, I am a green number. I am greater than 45 and less than 60. Which number am I? Well, my first clue is I am a green number, so I can cross off everything that isn't green. And unfortunately, I already marked things off. So, green number would be 22, 45, and 57. 
So that narrows it down to three choices. I am greater than 45. Well, 22 is not greater than 45. And 45 is exactly 45. So that one is not bigger or greater than. And less than 60. So what answer's left? 57. All right, number two says I am a blue number. So our choices for blue are 50, 24, and 41. So we can cross off all the other choices. It says you say my name when you count by tens. Hmm, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, there we go, 50. Which number am I? 50. All right, it is time for you to pause the video. Go ahead and do your work on pages 529 and 530. When you're done, go ahead and push play and we'll check your Okay, let's go ahead and check your answers. Number three says the number of pages in my book is less than 96 and greater than 90. Your choices are 95 and 92, J or Carla. I have three letters in my name. Who am I? Your answer would be J. Number four, the number of pages in my book is greater than 92. That gives you 95, 96, 98 are your choices. I have the greatest number of pages. That means the biggest number. And now these three, 98 is the biggest number, so peg is who we're looking for. Number five, the number of pages in my book is less than 65. So we have 55, 48, and 64. I have 10 more than 54. So if we look at 54, we want 10 more. So we're going to change the tens from 5 to 6, and the ones will stay the same. So we're looking for 64, which is Katie. If we turn to page 530, we have part of a hundreds chart. And you see that there are some missing numbers. Okay, so they're trying to find which one, uh, what is our secret number out of the missing numbers. So first we cross off the missing numbers that are less than 75 because the clue is the secret number is greater than 75. So anything smaller than 75 we're going to cross off. Now all these would be bigger. Fill in the remaining missing numbers. So I'm going to put 78 between 77 and 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. So those are our three missing numbers. Cross off the numbers that have an 8 in the ones place because it tells us the number does not have an 8 in the ones place. So this has an 8 in the 1's place, and this one has an 8 in the 1's place. So our only missing number that's left is 83. All right, it is now time for you to do your homework, pages 531 and 532. When you're done, ask an adult to check it for you or send a picture to your teacher. Have a great day.